In Mark's Gospel, chapter 5, we have this incredible story of transformation. Jesus and his disciples, they, they get out of a boat. They are encountered by a demon-possessed man, a man with unclean spirits. He was set aside in the tombs, the kind of guy that, that nobody wanted to encounter. And that's what society does, does it not, with those that, that are radically troubled by Satan. They incarcerate, they medicate, and they isolate. And this was this man, this man that had no hope, <laughs> no help, no family, no relationships. But Jesus is now brought into the equation. And out of love, he reaches out to this man and he speaks to this man and ultimately will deliver this man of his, his unclean spirits. This man that was in his right mind, this man that had now been delivered, he wanted to go with Jesus. He wanted to follow Jesus. But Jesus was like, no, there's business. Your ministry will happen here in Decapolis. You're going to go and tell people what I have done. Recently here at our church, we had a, a very similar story of a, of a man. His name's Anthony, and he lived on the streets. He really struggled with alcohol. You might say he was shackled by alcohol. For six years, we, we invited Anthony just to be part of us. Sleep wherever you want invited him to come to our church, to be part of our church. But it wasn't until the latter year where he would come to us and say, you know, I, I finally see Jesus and I see the love of God and I see it through the people. And it would be that, that witness of God's love that would bring him into understanding and encountering the Son of God, Jesus Christ. And Anthony would ask Jesus to come into his life. We would be able to baptize him and and it would happen just weeks before cancer would take his life and he would go home to be with Jesus. We were blessed to have a service where we would honor one of our own. Most memorial services are done on a Friday or a Saturday, but we thought, you know, Anthony lived on the street and he didn't know a lot of people, but we felt that he deserved the recognition and the honor that was due a child of God. And so we took one of our midweek services and we we just said, we're going to talk on transformation. And we had a video of Anthony there, and we had people come up and share on his life. And we celebrated what Jesus Christ does in the lives of people. With those that society doesn't know what to do with, Jesus does, well, he does very well with them. And he changes them from the inside out. And Anthony, from that day forward, was never the same. Baptized, walked around the city, he told people that, that he was now part of the family of God and he encouraged people to give their life to Jesus. A true modern day story of transformation. What's my history? Um, when I was homeless, one day I got tired of being kicked by the cops at every spot that I tried to get a little bit of sleep and threatened to be arrested and I was walking around one night with my sleeping bag and I was looking for a place and started praying, you know, God, and I need a place to sleep, I'm, I'm really tired. And I walked up on Calvary Chapel and I went in the far back corner of where it was really dark and went to sleep. The next morning, I came back here because I got a good night's sleep without any problem. So I came back and I slept again. That's when Pastor Lance introduced himself. You learn to not trust and not have, let's put it this way, you wouldn't, you know, on the street, on the other side, off of the, these church grounds, you don't leave home without it. Because you never know when somebody in the middle of the night when you're sleeping will come up and stab you just for maybe that one or two dollars you got in your wallet. And so you always went prepared just in case. Church give me more than you can imagine. This church has um, helped me in many ways. 
spiritually, mentally, because I began to give all hope. I was about to give up. I just wanted to, I just wanted to die at one point in my life. And this church is what got me not to think that way. I felt the love. I felt the the, the trueness of the church. Of a, uh, it, it's this church isn't really a church. It's a fellowship. You know, it bonds in one common interest our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's what drawn me to this church. You know, because I could see the, the, the power. I could feel the strength of uh, Pastor Lance and everyone here. Because they, they all have that love, compassion. I'm about ready to cry. I see God's love every day, every day in my life, every day I wake up. <laughs>